friends you can see i've tidied up the my front panel edges the bottom edge and also my back panel bottom edge as well i've tidied them up so i'm going to keep this aside for the next step so now the next step is for me to do is to now cut out the ankara for the front panel here on my table is the front panel so i'm going to cut out this ankara then i'm now going to squash it to place it on the, my front panel so now i will start working on my front panel but so for now before i do that i'll take i'll keep this front panel away then cut out my ankara so now this is my long ankara which i cut out if you want to know the length of how i was able to determine the length of the amount of fabric i'm going to cut out you see my front panel here the length of my front panel okay let me do that one the length of my kaftan from my shoulder to my ankle is 59 so what i did was i cut at 59 yeah 59 i cut at 59 two times making it 79 because remember i'm going to fold it but to be on the safer side i cut at 59 into three times like 59 plus 59 plus 59 so what i had was 179 so the length from here down then i also have another pieces here down it's all from here if you had this one this one and this one together it's 179 by length then the width what i have for the width is it's four and a half so what i have for the width is four and a half so then i'll start so it's four and a half so remember that i'm going to tidy up the edges here i'm going to tidy up the edges also i'm going to tidy up this one as well tidy up the edges by one by, by one inch on both sides i use one inch to tidy both edges one inch to tidy here I want each to tidy there. So what I actually need is the length I will need at last is gonna be three inches. You see. So my friends, as you can see, I've done the the gathered for my front panel, my gathered ankara. I this video how I gathered this ankara I did on my other channel. So please have a look on the other channel where I took my time to explain how to gather your ankara like this and also how I did these stripes as well these lace stripes so have all done that this is my front panel sorry I, sorry friends I don't have a, a big table so I'm using my bed so this is my front panel so what I'm going to do here remember this is my neckline here it's my neckline so what I'm going to do here is this. On my neckline here, I'll come down by one inch. No, not one inch, sorry, 1.5 inch. Like so. 1.5. At this 1.5 here, that is where I will stick my my gathered ankara. Let me go to the, my bench I can pin it and I can show you what I'm going to do next. So yeah, I cut that by one and a half at my neck, like the mid spot. I see the mid spot here. One and a half here. So I'm gonna let me do it. So I'm going to pin it here like so. So where I pin it here. That is where I'm going to place my Ankara, my Gada Ankara. So this is my Gada Ankara. So I'm going to place it here like this. See that? At the middle, I'll place it like that. Then I'll pin it like this. 
when you're painting you have to be careful so you know pick your hand yeah so i've peeled it now yeah so this is my lace here you see yeah my lace here i'm going to gently at this point you have to be careful when you're um arranging it because i'm going to arrange it to the bottom of my front panel down to the bottom so this is my lace here you see here i'm going to place it at the middle here you see place at the middle here and i'm going to gently stitch it down yeah in this point you don't rush so you won't make any mistake i'm going to stitch here use this my lace to stitch on take it up to my machine and stitch on top of it like this like this slowly slowly like this i don't rush it let me come up my bed <laughs> so i'm going to start i will stitch i'll follow i'll just softly arrange it then i'll be stitching it slowly slowly till i get to the end of my lace you see that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to use this place on top of my sewing machine so sorry um my sewing machine and now use it to stitch on top you see the the pattern will just come exactly the one you saw on the on my phone so now i'm going to go to my sewing machine and start stitching it up then when i finish i'll come back to show you the next part of it so now before i place on my sewing machine you can see i've already pinned it so i'm going to use my pin to keep it steady because I want it to be at the mid spot of my Ankara kaftan. So I'm just putting at the mid spot of my Ankara kaftan. So I'm going to gently, gently arrange it, ensure that it's at the mid spot of my Ankara kaftan before I place it. Yes, at the mid spot. I'll place my lace like this. And I'll pin it to it. So that's what I'm going to be doing till I get to the end of my kaftan. I'm going to go to arrange it. You know, in sewing, when you are doing so, you don't rush, so you will make mistake. You see, you don't rush it when you are doing your sewing, especially as a beginner. You don't rush. Just ensure that it's at the mid spot and I'll place my lace on it and I'll pin again. This pinning is very important when you are doing your sewing, extremely important. So I'm just going to do that till I get to the end of my Ankara because now it's at the mid spot of my of my kaftan. I'm just arranging it slowly. So now my friends, you can see I've succeeded in pinning the Ankara, Gadat Ankara on my kaftan at the middle. I, what I did, I did it at the mid spot. It's at the middle of the gown, of the Ankara gown. So you can see I pin, I left one and a half inch at the top because I need to tidy up, tidy up my neckline. And I pinned the lace to it as well. So what I'm going to do here, the next step is to now take it to my sewing machine and stitch it up. I'll just stitch on top of the yellow lace where I pin it. You can see closely that I pin it. So I'm going to stitch on top of it down to the bottom of the kaftan. So when I finish doing that, I'll come back. As you can see, I finished sewing the, the front panel, a car front panel. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to add the back and the front lace together as the front panel and the back panel together. So my friends, this is my front panel and my back panel boo boo. So what you're going to do here is this is the formula, the right side of the fabric and the other right side of the back panel, they always go together. So this is the right panel and this is the right panel this is the wrong side so I place the back panel 
right side on top of the front panel right side like this so what is really important here is don't worry about this other side of it don't worry about the side what you worry about is your neckline and your shoulder your neckline your shoulder to your sleeve make sure when you're hiding up together make sure is they are both equal at the edges so now let's go to the work table and calculate we are going to stitch up to so my friends remember that my this akara bubu i made sure that my half of my shoulder then i had my sleeve that my sleeve is, is from my shoulder to my elbow so what i calculated here is this half of my shoulder is 9.5 right so 9.5 my elbow from my shoulder to my elbow is 10 inches remember this side has a little bit of opening before the elbow so because my this my lace is not really long enough so i decide to 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 keep four inches which will be the opening so what i'm doing going to do here is to determine what i'm going to sew from my neckline to my end of my sleeve here i had it what i'm going to sew at is half of my shoulder which is 9.5 right then remember my my sleeve is 10 inches so i'm going to take out six inches from these 10 inches so i'm going to sew half of my shoulder 9.5 then six inches so when i had the 9.5 here plus six inches it's going to be 15.5 inches so the many uh, four inches here that will be my opening at the blouse here sorry at the bubble opening so what i'm going to do here i'm going to sew from my neckline here from my neckline here to 15.5 inches so when you measure it out like this like this from my neckline here to 15.5 so i'm going to sew from here and i'll stop to 15.5 here so the rest will be my opening. So I'll go to the other side as well. For my neckline here, I'm going to sew from here to 15.5 here. So this will be my opening. So remember that when I was stitching out this pattern, I left one inch for my sewing allowance at my top. So the one inch which I left out, that's what, what I'm going to stitch on top that is, will be my sewing allowance at my shoulder point here so i'm going to go to my work machine and sew from here from my shoulder here to 15.5 inches here i'll go to that side as well sew from here from my neckline here to 15.5 inches here so i go to my work table now so my friends when you are before i, before I start my stitch before you sew your boo boo always ensure that this neckline they're all equal you should have yeah, the but fabric to the other fabric must be equal it's extremely important or else your fabric will just jump so when you are measuring your, your sewing allowance make sure it's on the one inch sewing allowance you measure out if you measure 1.5 it will not be equal so that's the trick of it so my friends as you can see i finished teaching the the lace booboo on my other channel i took out my time to explain how i draft up my body pattern on my lace booboo so please have a look at my other channel where i took my time to explain how to how i draft up my body shape for my lace booboo so now what i'm going to do i've already drafted up my lace my body pattern from the lace booboo the next thing i'm going to do now is to tidy up the the hands from here to tidy up my sleeve for my boo boo so what i'm going to do here remember on my measurement i took out four inches but now i changed my mind i want to add more two inches to it to make it six inches so what i'm going to do here i'm going to measure from here to, from here from the end of the year this place up to six inches from here inches here so i'll go to that side as well measure from here to as well 
to six inches. Then I'll come back and tell you the next step. My friends, I measure at uh, six inches from from the edge of my sleeve to close my neckline. So at this place here, I measure at two inches. So which I've already cut out. So I'm going to cut it from here, create like a curve. I'll just cut it from here like so, like so, like so. So let me cut it now while you see it. You see the way I curve my hand? I'm going to curve it to meet that two inches at the at the edge of my sleeve. So I've cut at the two inches. I create like a curve. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and tidy up the edges here. I'll go to the machine, I'll still tidy up the other side because I cut out this side and this side. So when I finish doing that, I'll come back. Friends, the next stage is to tidy up the neckline. So this is the neckline. So I need to tidy it up. So what I did was, what I did was, I took my tape measure, yeah. I took my tape measure and put it around my neck. I put it around my neck to get my neck line, my neck side, uh, my circumference of my neck. Then I added extra inch to it, yeah. So this one goes around my neck like this, yeah. What I did, then let's say this is my neck. Then I now left like this allowance to it because I'm going to tie it at my back. So you see like this. Let me pull like this. Let's say this is my neck like this. I put it around my neck like this. That's what I did though, on this dress pattern. My neck like this. Yeah. This is my neck. Then I now left allowances. You see, I left allowances up to 32 mine was 32 let's my neck I when I put my when I put around my neck I got uh, 18 then I left extra inches up to 32 yeah mm. then I took it to my fabric I took it this is my fabric here yeah. I took it to my fabric and I cut at length 32. See? That's right. I cut at length 32. So when I did that, then, remember in your neckline, you need um, half an inch to sew it to your booboo. So what I did here was, here is 4 inches. So I'm going to fold it like this. And take it to my sewing machine, sewing machine, and stitch from there to to there. That's what I'm going to do now. When I finish that, I'll come back and show you the next step. Now, my friends, the next stage is to not attach my my neck collar to my neck of the bubble. So what I'm going to do here is remember what this was a uh, four inches, which I had it together to make it two inches. Now so from here to here is two inches. So the next I'm going to do, I'm going to take half an inch from here, like so, half an inch. Then I'll also take a half an inch from here as well. So I'm going to attach it round. So before I attach it, I'll, I'll take show you something. This is the right side of the fabric. So, to attach it around, you just simply do it like this. Yeah. Like this. Take the middle part of it. This is the middle part. Yeah. This the middle part. Then you put it in the middle part of the dress. Like so. Then you start your pinning. Make sure... The edges are all equal when you are pinning it round. 
it's very important so I'll just pin it till I get like this like this like this then I'll pull it this way again as well pin it in like so alright so that's what I'm going to do you see that so I'm going to do that to the other side as well so when I finish I will stitch it up so friends you see I've now I've pinned my neckline now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and take a, and stitch it up I'm going to take half an inch and stitch it up from there round I'll just do it take the time to do it slowly to the extreme end round round to the extreme end 